What's up guys, this is Foden here, and this is like another little animation that, uh, that I'm doing. Just to get this quickly cleared up. It's like a little driving animation, something completely different away from COD. Um, and I'll just, write basically, uh, this, this is going to be uploaded on my channel, you can see that anyway. But the main thing is, I got a, a model of a car, um, and I thought this looks pretty nice. So I added my own textures onto it. It doesn't look like much now, but obviously it's got a bit of reflection. Once it's got some scenery and some lights and that, it looks damn nice, um, I've got to admit. Um, so I've, I completely added my own textures on. Uh, the model itself I did not create, but I did edit it in order to rig it. For example, the door. I have to go for a lot of shit for that. And I just sort of like, basically put it together, and I probably will be putting this up for download as well. Same thing with the interior. I went into Photoshop, I created my own gauges, um, clocks and all that shit. And I've also like light switch, wiper switch, I've, I've added them all in just to let you know, but this tutorial is mainly for um, how to um, steer a car, not how to move it, just how to make the the wheels move um, together without having to do it yourself. Um, this can be quite useful in some ways because it doesn't have to be used on wheels, it can be used in other ways so that's why I always say to people just check out all my tutorials because I'll show you one thing it doesn't have to be specifically for that, it could be you could use it for something else as well but that I do not know because I haven't actually thought of anything yet but what what you need is you need your, your wheels separate from your car just like I have here so I've got the whole body and I've got the wheels so just put them into an, an extra folder so so that's the front left and the front right FRFL front left front right uh, and they, you know, etc. etc. So what we want to do is first of all you want to create a null. So you go into a little box, create a null, and then you go to uh, user data, add user data. And then you've got name, just type that steer, okay. Um and then it just short name to steer as well. It should do that automatically. Then you just want to go to interface and you want to go float slider and then the unit to degree. Um and then <coughs> sorry. What we need to do is we need to set a minimum and maximum degree, <coughs> like limit, shall I say? And um, it's basically how much, how many degrees do you want your wheels to turn? Now wheels don't turn any more than thirty degrees. Uh, so if I put minus thirty being the minimum and thirty the maximum, minus thirty is sort of gonna. Mm, I don't know how to explain this, but. As you can see here, this is a slider. I've put the minimum to minus 30 and the maximum to minus uh, to, and the maximum to 30. Sorry. Now in the middle it's naught. Imagine this at naught, the wheels are straight, and then you turn the wheels left, all the way left, and then turn the wheels all the way right, straight, all the way left. And basically, that's what it means. Um, and I'll show you again in a middle. Uh, sorry, in a minute. I'm getting all the wrong words here, but in a minute, how this little slider will work with the wheels. So now we've done that, you just want to click OK, and then you right click Cinema 4D Text Expresso, and this bring up this little box. What you want to do is you want to just drag the null straight in, um, and then a little box comes up with null, or you can just rename it to steer or whatever. And then you want to bring both of the front wheels in, which, for example, mine are these. Just drag them in as well. And what we want to do is you want to put one above, one below. Don't really matter where I've actually put it. For the wheels, we need to click on the little blue box um, and we want to go to coordinates, global rotation, and we want to go global rotation H. And the reason we want global rotation H is because when you turn the wheels in the rotation that you want them, it rotates them on the H axis. So you don't want them on anything else because we just want to turn them. So if we go back to our Espresso, which I've not that one, already got up, you want to go to coordinates, global rotation, global rotation H. And you want to do that for both the wheels, so I'm just going to do that now. And then, for the actual null itself, you want to click on the red, go down to the bottom, use the data, and click steer. And then, if you just click onto the little red circle, hold and drag, you got a little line, and you just want to click on both of the blue circles. So, select that one, and then just do it again for the blue. So that's sort of connected this um, steering slider with our wheels. Um, so, in order to turn the wheels, just click on the null and we've got our steer slider again. So, as I was saying, if I turn it this way, just to sort of see, 
you can turn those left. Oh shit, they've gone the wrong way, but um, I don't know why that is. Um, okay, well, not exactly what I wanted it to plan out like, but I think it's because my car isn't... Ah, I see. My car is upside down, because if I just hide it, this is sort of when Cinema 4D star, uh, starts up, this is uh, sort of the basic. You've got your Z, X, and Y axis. But as you can see, my car's turned around. So when I think I'm going left, I'm going to be right because it's basically flipped. But if my car was the other way around and I carried out this process, then um, it would be would be all right. But if you click on the null, you can choose your slider from, you know, whichever way you want to turn. Now, it doesn't really matter if um, it does go the wrong way, but I know one bug is if you have the car rotated um, and it's sort of facing along the x-axis for example I'll just show you if your car is like that that along the red it will not work um, and I don't know how to fix that just yet but I just know it will not work so um, if I put that back to naught it's quite a big model this so so yeah that's how you um, obviously turn the wheels and this is minus 30 uh, let's zoom out because it's set to minus 30 I don't think any car or vehicle wheels not of a, of a car anyway will turn more than that so if I chose a higher degree it will obviously just turn a little bit more but 30 I think is safe to use so you can turn left and right and that's pretty much how to make the steering um, and you don't need any extra plugins for it you just need Cinema 4D, Cinema 4D uh, 13 Studio to be, you know, exact because I know it definitely works on that one. Um, and then you're right. But if you just want to delete it, make sure you set the steer back to naught so the wheels are straight again, and then delete. So yeah, that's how you steer a car in a way. So you can do it by hand, or you can just do it like that. But then if you can think of any other sort of ideas to use this espresso script for then you've learned something new haven't you so you can just use it on that make it a lot easier for yourself um and yeah again if you want to animate it let me just come back there i think i don't think you'll be able to do that keyframe that keyframe that keyframe i'll try it no as you can see here it does not move so in order to keyframe it you need to have the auto keyframe select button on. It only works with the auto keyframe on. So if I start with 0, go to 30, turn it all the way left, go to 60, turn it all the way right. As you can see, a little red box appears here. That shows that the um, keyframes are being set down. So it needs to be auto keyframe by in order for it to work. But that shouldn't be a problem. So yeah, that's pretty much the tutorial complete. Now I will put this model up for download at some point and I will also um, I don't know whether to just add to, uh, add a little bit to this animation make it like a little short little movie not a massively big one sort of like a 30 second one obviously have a guy getting into the car um, driving stopping something like that along those lines if you'd like to see that because um, this animation is pretty much just him driving along a straight road um, so if you want to see something different just to see what the car uh, how I've animated the car itself. So as you can see in a minute, I switch. Uh, I use the um, the light switch, and if you see sort of in this area, you'll see the lights turn on. Uh, so if I just go single frame, this area. If you look at it, it's dark, and now it, there is actually a light appeared there, but you can't see. But that's when he switches the light on which he flicks that little switch um, so he flicks switch, light comes on hands on the steering wheel, he's going, he's moving and then as he comes towards this tunnel he switches on his four beams because obviously it's dark so he won't be able to see and it switches lights um, if you want a tutorial on how to like switch lights from like a, a car say from, from dipped headlights to full beam headlights I can, I can show you how to do that, That's no trouble at all um, I'll probably do, do that anyways, but if you want to see any more of this that little animation, just to put it into like a short little movie in just a little five second drive. Um, 
I can do that if you would like me to. It's not going to be that much stress or, um, you know, it's not going to affect the other animation that I'm doing because <coughs> it only takes, well, to be fair, this only took me about two hours to animate and that. It took a long time. No, it probably didn't even take that. An hour, an hour and a half. But it's just getting it all right, just getting the hands set up and that. But anyway, I'm not going to keep you any longer. Comment if you, you like the shit. Like if you like the shit. And subscribe if you like more shit. Um, because more shit's going to come. So um, please check out the next shit that's yet to come. Peace.